Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and this is the Softbox Light Bank from Mikansu. Now, this is a very powerful piece of lighting equipment for use in either photography or video work. And in a moment, I'll show you this in action on a video shoot. Now, let's take a quick look at some of the features of the light bank. First of all, you'll notice its size. It's about a meter in diameter, but you can have it in a couple of different configurations. So you can have it without the silver reflector. You can have it with the silver reflector, or you can set it up with the diffusing shower cap to give a lovely soft box illumination. Now inside the light bank, you'll see there are seven bulbs. Each bulb is a low energy light bulb of 50 watts power, but being low energy, it means they actually produce 250 watts of light. So all in all, it's a very powerful piece of equipment, but you can turn the bulbs on and off in little groups as well. So for example, I can turn on one single bulb, I can turn on two of the bulbs, I can turn on four of the bulbs, or I can have any combination of that, all the way up to having all the bulbs on. Okay, so there we go, that's the rundown of the Softbox light bank, but let's see it in action and see how well it performs. Okay, so let's use the light bank in a real life situation. Today we've got to shoot a video interview where the subject is sat in front of a very bright window. Now, normally putting your subject in front of a window is a real no-no because you'd either have to close the curtains or you'd have to darken the light coming through the window. Because if you don't and you expose for the window light, your subject's gonna come out as a silhouette. And if you expose for the subject, your window's gonna go very, very bright and look pretty awful. So that's where the light bank comes into its own. It's an incredibly bright source of light and you can use it to balance the window light with the light bank light and get the best of both worlds. The other advantage of the light bank is the bulbs. The bulbs in here are all daylight balanced, so the white balance will be perfectly matched to the window light. The light bank can vary the amount of light it produces because you can turn on and off the bulbs. Now the chances are for this situation, I'm gonna want all the light that this light bank can throw out. But I can turn on either individual bulbs or sets of bulbs, and I can use the histogram and metering facility of my video camera to make sure that I get the light perfectly balanced. Okay, so lights are in position the camera's rolling, and the subject's ready. So we can now take our video safe in the knowledge that it's gonna look fantastic. So tell me, you won the lottery. How does that feel? So for the last part of the interview, we need to get a video of our subject and we need to be at her piano. So that means we're using the ambient room light. Now that's all well and good, but it's not a lot of ambient light around and it's not particularly nice lighting. So to make our subject stand out from the background, we've got the light bank, but we don't have to use all of the lights. In fact, for this, less is more. So I'm only gonna use two of the bulbs. So I'm just gonna switch on two bulbs like that. Now that will put a little bit more light onto the subject and it'll even throw a little bit of light on the background. What we don't want is the background to go a horrible deep black color. The other advantage of the light bank as well is it's a lovely big area so it gives a beautiful soft illumination which is very flattering for our subject. Okay, let's do the interview. So, um, which piece of music are you gonna be playing for us today? So there we go, there's two uses for the light bank from Mikansu. Now to find out more about the light bank and other Mikansu products, have a look at the website at www.smic.co.uk. I'm Gavin Howey, thanks for watching.